I remember a lot of times in my house, I pace up and down, and I think about where I'm coming from. And I tell myself, Osana, you can't give up. You have come a long way. You cannot give up. You cannot afford to give up because you have come a long way. Too much distance. You have traveled. You can't afford to give up. There's no giving up. I have, by the grace of God, invested a lot into this kingdom. I'd rather die than give up on my faith. As a matter of fact, I don't believe in dying young. Anytime. It's okay. So long as it is God's will. I have invested so much in this kingdom. I have suffered so much persecution, so much mockery, so much pains, so much trials, to the point that the life I supposed to live freely, I can't even live freely. So why should I give up after suffering so much? No, there's no need to give up. Brethren, let us be patient. What are you looking for? What are you looking for that you do not have? Please be patient. Patiently wait upon God. Wait for Him. Wait for the Lord. Please wait for Him. Wait for Him. Don't give up on your faith. There are some of us, we have nothing except our faith. There are some people who look very poor, but they are rich in faith. Are you among them? You have no investment, no much achievement, but you have the faith that can move mountains. Please don't give up on that faith. The things that tend to be valuable in the eyes of men, in the sight of men, a lot of times, they are nothing before God. Be rich in faith. Be rich in patience. Don't give up.